It's our last day in Texas. We've been in Texas 15 weeks. We're getting ready to travel down what we have heard is one of the roughest patches of road in the United States. <laughs> I-10 eastbound. It from, don't matter, I assume, from people. We it's have heard, east yeah, and westbound. Both, both ways, but we're headed eastbound. We're headed from um, Beaumont over to Baton Rouge. And we heard as soon as you get over like the Lafayette area over into Bow Bridge mm -hmm. that it's really bad in that area. So we're going to show you what we're doing to take measures to prevent all of our stuff from being trashed. And we're going to set up some extra cameras today <laughs> to show you some of the shaking and we'll let you know exactly how bad this stretch of road really is. Well, over here, Leslie has bungeed the cabinets because we've heard that they bounce open when you're going down the road and then all of your stuff comes out. So we got those bungeed. Of course, Scout's always got these things on his and they're screwed in tight. Leslie tightened those last night to make sure his door doesn't come open. Uh, Scout's getting prepared for the ride. But we have some bungees up here to make sure that those don't come open. Um, we have some bungees over here. Of course, um, the fridge is no issue because we always have this guy that screws right in there and keeps those doors from coming open and the slide will come out here and prevent that door from coming open. But even if it does come open a little bit, it would just bang around a little bit. It wouldn't actually open all the way up. I got the, uh, the no pro action camera set up on the door handle. We got a bungee ready to go up there. Once we get ready, I'll set that up. I don't know how long that will record, but we'll try to get some footage there um, and then the dining room table we always bungee down the dining room table you can see the bungees here with the towel protecting that and those guys they get they get hooked in down here um, we used uh, o-rings where we where we plugged into the uh, the screw holes from where we removed the other table and kind of bungee those guys in and then not much upstairs but um, we did you can't hardly see it but over here we didn't want this guy to to pop open uh, on a bad bump and then these glass doors go sliding around so we did put a piece of pa uh, packing tape over the top of here so that this guy is not going to just pop open so hopefully those will will stay closed we don't really have to worry about these guys because when the slide comes in the bed's going to come all the way up to here and that's going to keep keep that from going that that will keep that door from going open uh the the bedroom bedroom uh closet doors have these latches there's a latch on the inside of that one so we don't have to worry about that too much another thing we did was we went ahead and took the uh the chains from the from the fan and went ahead and tucked them up into the dome because they always swing around anyway one usually ends up hooked up there anyway and we just don't want it to swing so hard because we have the pretty heavy little ends uh we don't want one to swing and maybe hit that globe and, and crack it so we're just going to toss those up in there so that's it we are packed in cinched down and ready for the bumpy ride we're also going to bring this camera with us inside the truck to document our bouncing <laughs> ready no hope you didn't eat too much <laughs> scout looks Super excited for a travel day. <laughs> Ready, bud? No. Nope, not looking at you. I have walked around the RV. I checked all the nuts and bolts and screws in the RV. Tightened everything down that needed tightening. And now we are going to get hooked up and get on the road. Well, not only do we have to go through the world's roughest interstate today, we have to go through one of the narrowest construction passes that we've ever been through we did this on the way in but we'll show it to you on the way out because it's super sketch so we're just on the other side of Lafayette I'm not gonna take my eyes off the road because I'm like white knuckling it right now because on the other side of Lafayette this is where it's supposed to start getting uh, pretty rough and as you can see it's raining did you see that <laughs> those trucks from the other side are hitting puddles so 
hard that it's flying water across the, the thing. Um, we hit a pretty good sell of, of rain and we're in a construction zone and the road's starting to, uh, to get rough and um, and Scout's getting all antsy and his pantsy all at the same time. So it's all coming together perfectly for us today. <laughs> So it hasn't been bad so far. The first half of the trip was clear skies and pretty clear roads. But now the second half, it's all going to be like boom all together. So we'll, uh, we'll see how it goes. Well, what did you think of I-10? I thought it was boring. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to get your unprovoked <laughs> opinion. It wasn't bad. No. It wasn't nearly as bad as what everybody it says. Uh, so, I don't know. They're doing some work out there, so maybe they're improving. Maybe they fixed it the already, but... The roughest spot that I saw was like as soon as you cross the Texas line into Louisiana, there's a pretty good rough patch just a little bit through the much. construction but it wasn't terrible just a minute or two. and it was a little bit bumpy uh past lafayette like we expected but it was just like where the seams were but it was raining so hard yeah, maybe that's why we did that i think it, it it forced everybody to slow down i think we were doing like 50 miles an hour yeah and couldn't hardly see anything so maybe forcing everybody to slow down made us not feel it as as bad i feel like we've hit a lot worse roads than that oh before. yeah i've been on worse um kansas oklahoma memphis memphis is terrible cincinnati um, ohio yeah so <laughs> i didn't think i-10 was that terrible no. i think the uh the rain and the construction was worse than the road conditions yeah today we're gonna brave the next leg of i-10 from baton rouge to new orleans and uh Hopefully it won't be too bad. That's not really the most thing I'm worried about because uh, once we get to New Orleans, we're actually uh, staying on the Naval Air Station mm -hmm. and they only have back-end spots. Lucky. Uh, <laughs> so it'll be, the, it'll be the first time since we left on our full-time life Hell. that we will have to back into a spot. But there wasn't a lot to choose from in New Orleans. No. And it was a nice place and it was pretty cheap. For the week is 168 yeah, dollars for the whole week cheap. so we said well we'll bite the bullet we knew this was going to happen eventually yes. um it's kind of mucky outside yeah so i'm not looking forward to that yeah. hopefully it won't be like actively raining while we're going i'm trying yeah. to back in and stuff and then our walkie talkies only one of them will charge i uh, i don't know why so we're having technical difficulties <laughs> so it's so we're going to have to use like our phones, phones yeah. um, which is probably good too, because see, Leslie has issues oh, no, with walkie talkies. No, 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 <laughs> no, I don't. She, she, she's talk, she hits the button as she starts talking. So the first <laughs> half a second of what she says, I don't, I do it to the left. What? <laughs> <laughs> You gotta, you gotta push the button no. and hold for a second, I and do. then speak, and then she gets mad because I make the sound. Yeah, you just. <laughs> so you don't have to make the sound. It already does that. Yeah. <laughs> Roger that. <laughs> so I guess it's good that we're not using walkie yeah. talkies today. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna try to capture yeah. the chaos and the madness of backing into the spot from a couple of different angles. <laughs> we'll let you watch the chaos too from a couple of different angles and then we'll come back on and talk about how yeah. easy or how difficult and how much we had Make to bleed. Make yourself a drink, <laughs> pop some popcorn because it's going to be entertaining. <laughs> we'll see you in New Orleans. <laughs>
Well, that was a show. Well, that wasn't terrible. Okay. Talking about the drive. <laughs> no, we, we did the, the second leg on I-10, and I-10 wasn't bad. No, I didn't think at, all. at all. Some of the roads in town were, and the bridges. were more bumpy. Yeah, and the bridges. Because they have the, the brakes. But it's like 80-something degrees here today, so I'm thinking maybe the like... the humidity of 85. Uh, yeah. <laughs> So I'm thinking maybe in the heat, when they expand, the gaps between the pieces it's, might not be as big. Bad. So if you yeah. come through here in colder weather, maybe those gaps are bigger yeah. and it seems so worse. It feels like you go boom, 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 But it didn't feel bad to us at all. Yeah, that is a normal drive. Yeah, it wasn't bad. It was only a couple hours and now we're on the Naval Air Station. Yeah. They only have back-end spots. Yes. God. <laughs> I will pay whatever it costs. Yeah for pull throughs yeah. it's terrible that, that slider hitch and i know we're gonna get some comments on here like dude it's gonna be it's it easy. Gets easier and, just go practice it and it's just like backing up a, a trailer it's not no. not with the slider hitch because once you get in too hard of an angle it does not matter which way you turn that wheel a trailer it's, once it's going the, the that way, the way that you do your hard turned it's going that way yeah. so then you got to pull back out straight it up it's easy to go straight backwards. I can go straight, straight backwards. backwards. Yeah. So if if I could get enough room in in front of the spot to go straight backwards, no problem. But when I got to back it at an angle, as soon as I start that angle, no matter which way I turn the wheel, it wants to just keep. It wants to just yeah. keep going. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. It's, it it's was. Interesting. Uh, but we got it done. Uh, we're still yeah. a little crooked. I don't even care. No, don't care. We're in the spot. We're on the concrete. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> our uh, our next uh, back end spot is booked in Tampa. <laughs> so we got plenty of time. Yeah, plenty. To prepare. I'm not gonna. I'm trying to not even practice. I'm trying yeah. to go to pull throughs and yeah. I'll deal with that situation when we get there. Yeah. So we may not have to do it again for like another <laughs> not, nine not, ten months. Yeah, I'm not gonna intentionally book back ends just to practice because, I yeah. mean, we were we were definitely entertaining some folks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They probably filmed us too. Yeah, and and so our walkie-talkies didn't work anymore. We mentioned that, yeah. so we had to use the phone. And then the phone, yeah. I'm in the truck, and she's on her phone, and the phone's trying to pick up her Bluetooth through the truck. So I got her on speaker, and then I'm getting a ton of feedback because yeah. it's trying to speak through the speakers in the truck to me through her phone, and it was. And know, even when I came in the truck and on the keypad put your phone Didn't as the, the connected phone it still wanted to jump to my phone i don't know why it's crazy anyway we made it we survived yes and then we're gonna stay away from the back ends yeah for all intents and purposes <laughs> we didn't fight though no it was just frustrating yeah because you can't make it do what you want to do yeah and i'm hard this way and the trailer's going that way and I'm hard this way, and the trailer's going mm -hmm. that way. Same way. Mm -hmm. I'm like, if you if I turn the wheel the opposite direction, the trailer should go the other way. It doesn't. No, not the slider. No. Anyway, it's we're the gonna price do it. We pay for a slider. Yeah, we'll we'll do a video on the slider. Other than that, we love our slider hitch. It keeps the cap from hitting the cab, and yeah, it keeps us from having to get a long bed or a dually truck. And that was yeah. the important thing. So you yeah. gotta take the bad with the good. <laughs> so we're booking pull throughs from now on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sticking with them. <laughs> well, that was um, a big build up for not much of a climatic finish, but yeah, yeah. But we figured we'd document it anyway. It was just fun to, just to document. It was going to be bad, but um, we will um, wrap it up. All right. Like we do at the end of our videos, we're going to honor a fallen hero. We appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.